Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we got something special. So yeah, it has been a long time since I've done a Minecraft video. So, you know I figured, because I was going to start one on the Mad Pack, but I found this thing that looks pretty cool. It's called the Sky Factory. So we're just going to type in Sky Factory right here. And we're going to do an uns underscore. And we're going to throw down an S for season. And we'll put a 1 after that for season 1. It's uh, game mode survival. We're going to go into the more world options. And we're going to change this world type right here to uh, void world. I believe that's how you have to set it up. I'm not completely sure. But I think that's the right way of doing it. And the seed that we're going to use is just Yoda. Because I, I was at Comic Con um, in Minneapolis over... Uh, I, it was last weekend, not this weekend, I'm recording this on Sunday night, but uh, last weekend I was at Comic-Con in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it was awesome, and it was over May 4th, so may the 4th be with you, hence why we're using Yoda in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this new world. So I did do a small series on Skyblock before, and uh I found this. I was gonna do something on mod on the uh, Mad Pack, but I decided, hey, Sky Factory looks extremely cool. It will kind of force me to use a lot of the mods that there are actually available. And gosh, I hope we get some saplings here. So, oh, good, we got a sapling, at least one. That's a good start. And essentially, what I'm just gonna do here is I'm just gonna go down uh, uh, just a couple of levels with these leaves and hopefully get some more saplings. Um, that would be great because uh, saplings are very key to starting out this whole thing. So let's go ahead and take this one away and we'll get rid of these couple first logs here. Essentially what Sky Factory does is it starts you out on a tree with one piece of dirt. It is basically a modded sky block um, pack. It's uh, available through the ATL launcher, so the th same thing that's underneath the uh, Mad Pack. I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to walk to the edge, and, and hopefully uh, we'll collect anything that uh, falls down. Come on, give us another sapling for the goodness sakes. Oh my gosh, this could, this could take a while. Uh, the, the thing about the uh, Sky Factory is it essentially takes a long time to get started. It takes a long time. Uh, for me, it, it will take a while. Uh, for you guys, between uh, cuts, it's not going to take that long at all. So we're just going to start out with a crafting bench here. I'm going to hold down my shift. I'm going to walk out to the edge. And I'm simply just going to throw down the uh, crafting table right there. Crafting, yeah, crafting table, crafting bench, whichever way you want to call it. And I'm actually going to make um, some slabs here. Uh, basically, the reason I'm using slabs is because it uses less of the work, uh, less of the wood, and it uh, more prevents the uh, mobs from actually spawning on it. So we're gonna hold down our shift again, and we are gonna use our oak wood slabs. And you want to be sure to put them at the bottom of the dirt block. That way, uh, mobs will not be able to spawn on there. If they were at the top side then mobs would be able to spawn on there. So it's just a good safety uh, precaution, I suppose would be the right uh, word for it. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely going to take a little while. I mean, I can't believe we only got one sapling. Uh, that's that's treacherous. That's, uh, that's a total bummer. But we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Um, this is going to kind of be a let's play, but it's not going to be a total let's play. So... Um, because I don't want to put all those boring parts in there. So let's plant our one sapling that we got. We're going to hold down shift again. And we're going to throw down the torch right on top of the crafting table. Basically now all we can do is pretty much wait. Until that tree grows to move on further into this, uh, into this um, particular mod for the most part and also to start it out we are going to make a barrel the reason we're making a barrel right off the bat is because uh, with a barrel this thing can actually catch water so 
we look to be in a forest biome, so it's definitely going to rain all the time, which is a total drag. But hey, what can you do? Uh, so we have this uh, first bale right here. I'm just going to throw it out on this corner. And essentially what that does, if we had more saplings, I could, th I could fill this thing up with saplings right there or leaves. Granted, we don't have a shears yet, but I could, th I could fill this thing up with, with saplings and then that would turn into a block of dirt. With the block of dirt, you could actually plant a second tree if we had more saplings. So um, it's pretty cool. Also, it catches water. So um, when it rains, because I'm sure it's going to, considering we're in the forest, it's definitely going to rain. Um, it will actually, this thing will actually collect water. So uh, guys, I'm going to take a quick little break here. And once we get this tree grown, then we will start recording again. So hang tight, guys. We will be back in a moment. For me, it's going to take a while. For you guys, it'll only be a second. So hang hey, tight. Hey, guys, we are back. And I moved uh, my uh, barrel right over to this area right here, right next to the tree, because it was just kind of blocking that space. So I just moved it right there. It probably won't stay there. Um, that's just like a temporary position. But we finally have our first tree grown. And to start that off, what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves a crook, a crook, C-R-O-O-K. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We, we're going to use the sticks. We're going to go one, two, three down this way, put it off to this side, or we can put it off to this side. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. This is one of the important tools because with using this, from the leaves you can actually get uh, more things uh, more saplings and uh, hopefully eventually we will get a uh, some sort of silkworm oh I think we just got one that is absolutely awesome so I'm gonna be sure to hold down the shift button here as usual especially if you're playing skyblock you do not want to uh, you do not want to step off the edge because otherwise game over guys that's that's about it uh, that's that's how it works out. So uh, let's go ahead and keep on collecting these. Please give me some more saplings, guys. My goodness, this is uh, this is taking forever. Man, it's been quick for you guys, but boy, it has been uh, it's been a little while for myself. Um, I definitely need to throw a block uh, higher up on this whole tree because that way I'll be able to reach the very top. So uh, let's go ahead and let's just punch these logs out. I wonder, I'm going to try this. I know in the Mad Pack you can hold down shift and it will take everything out. But I hope it doesn't get rid of my entire platform. Let's try it. Hold down shift. Nope, it only does one block. So that's all right. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and collect all of the rest of these logs here. So, uh, yes, the number one thing, guys, we made was that uh, barrel. The number two thing we made was the uh, the crook. And the crook definitely helps out. As you guys can see, we actually have two silkworms down there. So that is a huge plus because uh, I will show you guys that in a moment here, um, how those things actually work. Because once you actually plant a... Um, once you guys actually plant a, another uh, sapling, and of course we only got one, so it's going to be a whole nother waning matter. Uh, once you guys plant these and it grows up big and tall, uh, then you can add this, uh, this little silkworm to it and it will turn the tree white. And essentially what that will do is it can give you a heck of a lot more uh, drops from the actual tree. So uh, that's that's a huge plus. That's a huge plus. But uh, yes, we're going to do a little bit more of the waiting game, guys. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit more of the waiting game. And I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm not going to show it all. But uh, I think what I will do is I'm going to turn these logs into blocks right there. And I'm actually just going to turn a couple of these. I'm going to make some... Uh, oak wood plank or some what are they oak wood slabs and essentially what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to pretty much build this up 
until uh, I think it's about the eight count, I believe. So I'm just gonna throw down one right here if I can. Go ahead, throw it down. All right, so we got one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. And basically what this is gonna do, I'm gonna hold down my shift key again. I'm gonna walk out to the edge and I am going to place it right above my piece of dirt right there and right there. And then I'm just going to uh, pretty much cut down the rest of these um, these planks that I did. So uh, what that will do is we'll cap off the, uh, the highness of the trees um, because you want the trees to be in reaching distance and the oak trees, they definitely Usually I use birch wood because they only get a certain size, but with the oak trees, it they can go enormously huge. You guys, I'm sure you guys know that, so that's pretty much why I threw down a cap on the very top of it. And uh, we are going to have to wait some more until this, <laughs> until this, uh, this little sapling grows. So yeah, it's 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 gonna take a little while, guys. It's gonna take a little while. But I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. So um, I'm not sure how long this is. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check the time pretty quick here uh, just to find out for the most part. And then we'll see if we will continue uh, for this particular video or if we will actually wait until uh, the next video. So hang tight, guys. I will be back in a moment and let you know. Hey guys, we are back and I just checked the time. We're at about 11 and a half minutes or so. Um, basically, I'm just going to do a couple of more things until we uh, call this video good. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a little AFK area. So on top of this slab, I extended this out one, two, three back. On top of this slab right here, I'm just going to throw down a regular block because if you use a half slab, it's basically going to uh, go right on top of that one. So I'm just using a standard block right now, a standard wood plank, and I'm going to throw down a, uh, a half slab right on the bottom there. Another one right here, if I can get out of the way. Another one right there. Uh, another one right here. And another one right here. And then I'm just going to replace this uh, full block that we use, because otherwise that would be a spawning area, um, with another half slab. And what this creates is a nice little uh, AFK area. So when I'm waiting for all my trees to grow, I can just hang out here and uh, wait for it to happen. The other thing that I did was I made another oak barrel. And with this other oak barrel, I am going to probably throw it, uh, let's see... I want it to be far enough away from the tree, so I will probably extend this thing out. Uh, let's see, where do I want to place this? I, I think I'll extend this out right about here and right about there. And I'm going to throw down my second oak barrel to collect uh, rain when it actually does rain because... I know it's going to rain. I, I know it's going to rain. So uh, that one will be used for collecting all the rain and creating and getting water. This one right here, right next to the tree, is going to be used for uh, throwing other saplings in once this tree uh, matures. And then we can uh, basically use that to create some more dirt. And with the more dirt, then we can start ourselves a tree farm. And that's going to come in very handy, which I will wait till the uh, next episode uh, because I don't want these to be too long. Uh, please let me know down in the comments, guys, what you guys think. Um, I'm having fun so far. It's on day one so far, so we're not doing too bad for day one. Um, just uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys would like to see some more. And I think I'm going to call this video good. The next video I'm probably going to start out with when the tree's fully grown. I'm going to probably add some of these uh, little, uh, if I can hit, escape, well, not escape, but if I can hit inventory, I'm going to add some of these silkworms in there. So the uh, next video is going to be adding the silkworms, and we're going to go from there. So, guys, uh, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a sub and uh, leave a, the video a like if you guys like what you see um, I would highly appreciate it 
But guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, and bye-bye.